Oh, people. Ooh, that's a quite a heavy flicker. Right. So, as you can see, people are not that badly wounded. Ready, so, sir. we're going to start spreading them out. Yes, we're going to speed this up now because we've kind of shown you some of the basic setup of it. All that, done, sir. There we go. We've got the first creature. Ready, now, you see, she can't actually reach Ready, there. So nobody can at the moment. So what we're going to do is going to bring him up. Ready. Even that's too far. Shotguns are very, very short range. So we're going to bring both of our people up over here. Anything. She, he's going to move where he All used done, to sir. be. To and then she is going to what come now, over this way. Now time is still passing. Because I only got it to pause when you see a creature for the first time. Otherwise, the game will keep running. So we're just kind of going to wait here for a while. What see, now? she can't get any... She can't reach him from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring her around over here. Ready, sir. And he is going to come up over here. Now hopefully, there you go. You can start to get some chances to shoot. We'll go, go with that. There's one. Chomper. Yeah, it's going to bring out both of our guys. There we go. I can't hit him anymore. Now the Chomper is probably going to start coming for us any moment. So we're going to get our guys and we're going to kneel down. Ready. Ready. Slightly Ready. increases our accuracy. And we're just generally going to wait for that one. Chomper to come closer. Now she, she can see that one all the way over there. This is the one we kind of got to worry about for the moment. There we go. And as soon as we got it in line of sight, we're just going to keep shooting. The aim is to bring it down. There we go. We've got it down. So now we're going to take our guys. And we're going to just advance up the field. She, on the other hand, is going to come over here. She's going to try and find and take it out. See, it looks pretty stuck at the moment. So I think we can actually get quite close to this. Look at that. Get up to there. And you see, that was taking a while. And she's got this funny face on it. <laughs> right, and we're done. We just killed a couple of creatures. We didn't get any equipment for it. But never mind. Now, what she, she's quite good at handguns, so let's see what can increase our handguns. Dexterity. So we're going to go with dexterity. We're just going to keep maxing out the handguns. Later on, it's not that important. There are better weapons. And now we're going to accept this next mission. Now, I see another mission's just turned up. This is probably going to look to expand. So yes, these little areas shows you your control. If we complete a mission there, it will start to create a little boundary where we actually get some control over the area. And that's going to be another expand mission. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably go up to there and on the way back, we'll stop back at the base just so we can re-equip, get a few extra items and check out what weapons we found. Because it is useful going back to the base now and again. Because you then do get the opportunity to equip all the new stuff. Now again, we are just going to yes, follow sir. the same pattern. We're going to spread out. It's relatively simple. And if we do meet some tougher creatures, we do have grenades. Grenades are rather effective in this. So it is worth carrying around quite a few of them. All done, sir. In actual fact, some missions I've just gone out and just practically had a grenadier because they were some of the most effective troops I had. Your order, sir. Yes, sir. Now, one of the things is, you can see the screen jump all the way over to there. What I'm doing is I'm double pressing a 1. Or what you could do is double tap their um, image and it will basically center them. It's just a good way of tr keeping a track of where your characters here are. Now, there we go. We've got basically all oh, the creatures wait. over here. Now, she's going to start taking shots of these. And he is coming up. Now it's gotten close, so we're going to swap over to burst fire. There's one. Right, and he's just going to keep shooting. Done, we can take it out. Now, 
Daggerfly could well have a gun. Funnily enough, these creatures kind of have guns in the tails. Just stop that flickering for a second there. Right. That chomper is probably the more dangerous of all the yes, creatures. Sir. So, again, now it's getting closer. We're going to swap everything over. Yes, sir. And then we're going to focus all our shots on it. And we got it. So now we've done that, we can now advance. And see, we've got another chomper. Just going to advance our troops up. She can start taking some shots at it. Now, as you see, there's a creature over here. We should, hopefully, be able to kind of almost sneak up on it. No, we are not going... We've scattered all the potential enemies, but we're not going to end yet. We're just going to keep going. What we're going to try and do is actually kill all the enemies. If we can kill all the enemies, yes. we get a heck of a lot more experience points for it. Now, Malcolm, who hasn't done anything, is actually going to try and shoot this creature. Yes, sir. Looks like... Yes, normally you wouldn't want to stand out in the open like that. It's normally a terrible, terrible idea. Now what we're going to do is, now we've kind yes, of explored sir. everything, I think we've probably got Ready? all the creatures yes, in the sir. area. So we're just going to send our people out, yes, just to make sure, and kind Wait, of now, just click around, just make sure we've kind of checked all the nooks and crannies. You can tell you how long it's going to take for them to complete their little circuit. And this is on maximum speed, as you can see, it doesn't look like there's anything really in the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to abandon the mission, but we've actually completed it. The mission was successful. We've got a load of experience. Nobody looks like they need to go to sick bay. So we're going to complete this other mission over here. We still have just enough ammo to handle this. But after this, we're going to start getting very low and we really will need to head back to get everything. It's because the Uzi goes through an awful lot of ammo, as you can see. Orders, sir? So, you see, yes, sir. the shotgun, whilst it's a lot shorter range, is can effectively be a lot more useful because it just causes such a punch with every single shot. There's one. Now, as you can see, we can just about start oh, to get sir. the hit, so we're going to try sir. from here. Oh, there's one right yes, back sir. at the beginning. So we're actually going to send Brian back to keep an eye on that Your one. Orders, sir? And whilst that's coming closer, she's going to swap over to Burst. And there's got the creature. It's orders, not dead, but it is stunned. Now you can't actually shoot it from here, so I'm going to have to go forward a bit. I'm in trouble. There's one. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. So he can see it from there, he can see it from there. Oh, I know why it's not. I have to reload. It's one of those stupid things about the game. If you kind of left it when it was unloaded, it doesn't always not, it's not always smart enough to reload for you. And you can see another one over there. So we're just going to kind of leave. Now there you go. That cover was uh, rather successful. We just kind of wait around here, and we're just going to take some pot shots. Pow! No, there was still one all the way over here. So whilst it says we've eliminated the opposition, we haven't actually killed everything, which is not always the same thing. You don't have to kill everything in the area to effectively take control or to complete the mission. Yes, sir. There you go, so we're getting a little bit closer, and we're going to do burst fire. And then that's got that one out of the way. And I think that is probably going to be all the enemies. Because again, it doesn't actually tell you if you've killed everything. So we're just going to go through, I'm not going to do a particularly complicated search. Just a quick flick, just make sure we've kind of gone around a bit. And it generally looks like we are done. So we're going to end the mission. We get three people leveling because we did get quite a bit. 
We've got some more weapons. So that's good. More ammo for it. And everybody levels up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do something. Increases our average. Increases rifles. And speed. Speed is useful. Can get around a lot quicker. So the agility can go up on him. Now that's maxed out now, so we can't increase the willpower anymore. So again, we're going to look for rifles, something rifle related. And it looks like if we want that, we want to go with agility. So that brings us up to average here. And handguns. We're going to get, we're going to stick with the handguns. We're kind of doing well. We could go for heroic in dexterity. Good stealth, so that means enemies are going to hear her a lot less. And as you can see, it gives us another point in handguns. And now you see the border around here has increased, which shows that we're slowly getting some more control over the area. Aha, and as you can see, we have now done all the development. There's nothing more that we can actually do. So now we're going to change over to research. And the research will then unlock other things, maybe create some new developments. Yes, we can now detect UFOs, start shooting them down, so any military base can actually send out fighters. And we've now got a new recruit. And there's another mission. That's probably going to be, yes, that's a capture. So what we're going to do, though, that's probably going to be an expand mission. Yes. She no, it's the actual base mission. Yes, that's just a straight base mission. Now, you can't delegate those missions. You have to do them yourself. So what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to come over and we're going to capture, we're going to complete this mission, then go over there, then go over there. Sometimes if you complete a mission, it will give you more control over the surrounding areas. So hopefully we, well, actually, no, we're going to do this one, this one, and this one, because if we don't capture this one ourselves, we'll lose out on the experience and also other bits and pieces. So going to return to the base sorry return to the base yes we want to intercept the observer and what's this new mission infiltrated our territory so what we're going to do is going to go here swap over here then kind of do a little circuit like that and whilst that's going out we're going to head back here and we're going to check out our new recruit Meh. Nothing exceptional, as you can see, pretty average stats. But we do want to take this person with us. Now, as you can see, we've got some new handguns. Nothing really better than the Uzi. Now, we do have an HK. Now, this is a much better rifle. Well, it's the only rifle we've got at the moment. However, we've only got very, very limited ammunition for it, so we're not going to use it. we also got heavy, so really there's nothing that we can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to check to see what they've got. They're best on rifles, so they're going to take a shotgun, take the usual four ammo, give them a couple of grenades, so we go to other, couple of grenades, give them a med kit, then put on some armor, and if they need that, so we take that off, that's kind of the best that we can do for them. As you can see, these people are, because they've got a much better capacity, say poor, poor, good and very good, they can carry a lot more. So we're not going to go through any training at the moment, but as you can see they've got some potential trainings over here. We're going to stick with getting the experience out this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight up to this mission, we're going to send these four out. Now our fighters came back because we weren't able to intercept anything. It obviously disappeared before we got the chance. Now we've got four people this time, so because we've got four people, we're going to start moving people in groups of two. So Malcolm and Brian can go together, and then over here, as you can see, we can't get through over there. And I don't think there's really another route. No, everybody's got to go this way for the moment. So we're going to send Rosemary and Marilyn over here. But generally we're going to keep them in groups. Now, now that is a new type of creature. That particular creature can shoot at long range. So what we need to do is we kind of need to just keep running. You can actually, you can dodge. Yes, now these people need to start moving. Yes, sir. Yes, just get 
the heck out of the way. No, you want to move sideways. Yes, that way. We're going to start moving our shotguns up. She needs to go over there so she can start taking shots. And just kind of cause any injury. Fortunately, he's going to be running up from this side. And can he get there? Yes, he can get there. And as you can see, cover does make a big difference. You're not actually in trouble. Now that shot's coming in. You can actually, if you're fast enough, you can literally dodge incoming shots, especially those slow ones. So it's worth keeping an eye on what, how the distance they've got to shoot and what, how fast your characters are. Now, I could use the med kits. Yes, I probably will in a bit. Your orders, sir? But one of the things is you can't just keep continually bandaging up all your wounds. Eventually, you will have to go Awaiting to med bay. Awaiting further orders. Ready. Yes, sir. Ready. What now, sir? It is probably going to be worth before the next mission what bandaging now, sir? up. Your orders, yes, sir. Now, we're going yes, to send these guys over here. And these girls are Hands going to up. come down. Ah, now as you can see, we've got a creature over there. Awaiting Not much we can really do because he's too far away, but we can start to move up our guys into a position. There's one. Aha! Now that's a really bad place to be at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to nope. He's not going to move there at all. Press the Alt, and we're going to move back him yes, into sir. cover. And he is going to run up to here, here and start taking the shots. Heads up. I'm under attack. Now that Head was, we managed to do one shot and take Waiting it down. So we're going to try and get into cover again. All done, and we're going to keep an eye on the cudgel. Order, sir. Yes, sir. Now these girls we're going to bring up over to here. Order, sir. And they're just going to keep an eye on that flank, make sure nothing comes Good around. Go. Everything's kind of being quiet at the moment. Yes, We're not yes, going to rush. Ready. There's yes, no sir. point. Yes, we can sir. kind of take shots on it now. And there we go. Not yes, going to waste uh, opportunity. Him off. What now, sir? now, see this little red bar down at the bottom of each of the guns. That just tells you how much what ammo now, you've got sir. for each gun. Yes, sir. Ready. Now they've got their eye on that creature. Yes, so whilst they're doing that, we're going to send these girls up. Ready. And they're going to check out the next area. Now, orders, can we? S we can't actually hit this creature yet. We're just going to be patient. No, again, no rush. Now we can yes, start sir. to shoot yes, the flapper, That's and the there's the flapper dam. We're just going to have a quick check again. It says you've eliminated all opposition, but that doesn't necessarily mean you've killed everything. So we're just going to go through and just check what now, but it sir? looks what like now? we have Ready. nothing's coming up everybody stopped moving so we can end the mission and we gained a total of 849 experience new person didn't get anything now as you can see completing that mission did increase our control so we're now going to slip by and do this mission along the way and you see They've discovered a planter. Now, finally, oh, we've got it. We've finally got a combat. Now, this is uh, looking like static for a reason. It'll become obvious later when we start getting some more research. This is our group of fighters that's taking on the planter. Our initial salvo did quite well. We've taken a bit of damage. And we finally did shoot them down. So we've managed to shoot down our first aircraft, first UFO. As you can see, we've got a new mission, so what we're actually going to do is come over here and then go there and then go over. This will be also our first look at the aliens. And this could be a bit tricky. Yes, 